My name is Dr. Anne Boro. I work at PCH Ogoria Hospital. I work as a pediatrician and I'm also the internship coordinator. So PCH Ogoria Hospital has worked with CHAC for the internship program for almost 20 years now. Uh, it has been a wonderful experience, good collaboration uh, because we've been able to get interns who have uh, aligned with our core values and to be able to deliver the kind of care that we seek to offer here at this hospital, which is a faith-based hospital. CHAC has been very instrumental in helping us get uh, interns, medical officer interns, who are well aligned uh, with our beliefs and core values as a faith-based Christian Mission Hospital. My name is Daniel Momonzao. I am a medical officer intern at CH Korea Hospital. Um, I came to know CHAC primarily through the Christian Union uh, presented in our uh, school. Uh, so we used to have a fellowship that would meet each Thursday of the week, um, go through different passages of the Word. Um, so through there, we were introduced now to the CHAC, the Christian Hospitals Association of Kenya. So what CHAC helps us do is uh, identifying the schools which are nearing the end, or whereby the students are coming to the end of their uh, and time as medical students. And those students usually express an interest through either the hospital, the schools, or through the Christian Union to CHAC. Uh, and therefore, then CHAC sort of um, goes through that and shortlists uh, candidates um, who had initially expressed an interest not to come to a CHAC based facility. So, my name is uh, Dr. Lois Auma Musioka. I am a medical officer intern at PCH Ogoria Hospital and uh, currently I'm doing my internship here and I'm almost at the end of my internship program. So how I came to know about Chogoria offering internship center is when the CHAC program came to our school to have people interviewed for those who would like to do their internship at mission centers. So the reason why particularly I was interested in Chogoria Hospital was because a student who was a year ahead of me who had previously done internship at this center said it was a good learning place and a good place to have your foundation when it comes to your medical training in general. So the reason why I preferred particularly a mission hospital was because when you do your, when you have your basis in a mission hospital, when your foundation is at a mission hospital, they do hold some training in terms of internship. They are not just interested in you working, they're interested about your personal life, in terms of your spiritual life, your mental health, and your emotional well being as a human being, which is something I found quite interesting being incorporated in a mission hospital which lacked in a county hospital? Um, I think the culture of an institution um, very heavily influences individuals within the institution. Um, and I think that that's very emblematic of what Chogoria Hospital aims to be, aims to do. Um, Chogoria Hospital usually has weekly Bible studies as well as services every Monday so that we can begin to dedicate our week and the patients that are going to be seeing through the course of the week um, to Christ. The Bible studies which we have um, on a weekly basis also help us to grow as individuals spiritually. Um, that's also why I see it's a very holistic facility. It's not just your medical acumen that is being trained and honed, but also your relationship with God and making it actually that a relationship where you're constantly interacting with Him um, and the people around you are of the same ilk. So it makes um, the journey easier when you're walking into people who are like that. So far, I've done four out of my five rotations. Uh, I would not speak on anyone specifically to be an interesting one. I think from each and every rotation, there was something to learn, and there was something that I found quite intriguing about each and every specific rotation. For example, in pediatrics, uh, it was more like, you will see how there was wholesome care for children as in general, not just the child's health, but we are also concerned about the mother and the father and the social well-being of a child as a whole. So it was not just come, you get treated, go home. You come, you get treated, your parent gets treated as well. 
and I felt that was a bit wholesome in how pediatrics was handled. And uh, in terms of doing follow-ups as an intern, I think that's one thing I really appreciated about pediatrics, how meticulous the pediatrician was and how detailed we would have to go uh, per child in terms of care of this particular child. Uh, when it comes to my next rotation after pediatrics was surgical rotation. And I think what surgery makes you do in this particular institution is they teach you a lot of time management skills. Because the rounds begin at 6.30 and you have to be done in three hours and in those three hours you have to be done comprehensively. So that was the bit that taught me so much about time management. In terms of within these three hours you have to be planned, you have to make sure the investigations are done, you have to make sure your patients are well taken care of, they are pre-rounded on before we can have a major round, which is something, again, that I appreciated with my surgical rotation. Uh, my next rotation was obstetrics and gynecology. And for obstetrics and gynecology, one thing I appreciate the most about this hospital is that we are not just there to deliver the baby. It's all about quality delivery. What's the end product at the end of all this when you're doing obstetrics? What kind of baby are you bringing to the world? So it's more of a wholesome care. How you take care of the mother from the time they start their antenatal clinic to the time they come for delivery to the time that baby is delivered and things are just done by the book. And that's one thing I found quite interesting about obstetrics in this place. And uh, just generally how maternal health is handled in this place. So as an intern is completing the internship journey, the consultants typically have a potluck where each of them um, cooks a meal at their homes and then they invite us all to one of their homes so that we can uh, share a meal together, a fellowship together. We can also um, give a lot of encouragement and advice as we start transitioning out of the facility and into the larger world. Um, it's usually a very, very um, wholesome moment. Uh, we get to laugh, we get to share memories of uh, our days during um, internship. I think the beginning of a rotation is always very interesting because you really I don't know too much, especially if it's something which you you know not very strong in. Um, so just recollecting some of those moments of how you started versus how you ended up at the end um, is usually always a very stark contrast. So it's a very light-hearted, very fun moment. Um, I think definitely one of the hallmarks of having an internship experience here. Yeah. As a young person in a mission hospital, uh, I think I love the way religion is generally incorporated in this place. Not just a matter of you going to the chapel, but by virtue that sometimes when you feel quite overwhelmed, you are free to go to the chapel and you can talk to someone at the chapel and tell them, I feel overwhelmed uh, about this and this particular thing. And I think I need you to help me pray about this particular thing. Another thing is the weekly Bible studies that have been happening. Once in a while, if you're not on call and you get a chance to go there, I think it really builds you. And uh, because of the questions that are pretty much asked during that Bible study, they leave you introspecting about what are your actual goals as a Christian? Why are you here? Like, what is your purpose in this life? And I think working by the word daily and just having someone there to be able to guide you, knowing that when you're overwhelmed, you have someone that you can go to and tell, please pray for me, please pray with me. Because sometimes even breaking news to patients is not as easy as you want it to be. Sometimes you feel like you're being pushed to the limit and your faith is being pushed to the limit. And uh, I think just by the virtue that it's not just a Christian hospital, but a functioning Christian hospital, it plays a huge role in terms of, you don't even have to go to your mentor to seek this spiritual guidance. You have other consultants who will look at you and sometimes they feel that you're a little bit overwhelmed and they're able to help pull you out from that space. And I think that as a Christian has really taught me to the essence of being there for each other as 
a person and as a doctor as well.